lessons you have learned in terms of building a small business? The first lesson that I learned and I continue to learn is that as an entrepreneur or a small business owner, you can't go it alone. Right. You mm -hmm. have to build a success team. You have to invest, uh, spend money to bring in people and resources to help you be successful. So mm -hmm. I have found uh, over the 10 years and, and of late, I have a virtual assistant. I have a bookkeeper. I have an accountant. I have a business coach, and I'm a coach. Mm -hmm. I'm a business coach, yeah. and the business coach has a business coach. Uh, photographer, graphic designers, branders, web designers, um, all these people I either use on a you know as-needed basis. Sure. Some of them are all the time for me because I can't be successful all by myself. And that leads me to my second lesson. Number two. Yes, know your numbers. You mentioned meeting payroll and selling. Uh, for the first couple years of my business, Jim, I'm embarrassed to say, but this is the real truth, that I used to think that if checks came in my mailbox, that I was successful. And I would actually go to my accountant at the year end, preparing for the tax year, and I would ask her the question, Janet, did I make any money last year? <laughs> right, exactly. And I didn't know the answer. Mm -hmm. And she would look at the numbers and she would say yay or nay. You can't you know, rely on someone else to tell you if you're making money or not, and you can't wait till the end of the year to know if you're making right. money or not. So through the work of my, with my business coach, I've started to track different kinds of numbers. Um, I've become QuickBook proficient. Mm -hmm. I still have these other people that are helping me, but I am my own CFO. And one of the numbers that I've been tracking, other than checks coming in the mail, which is still a thrill, but now they come electronically, so it's not as, right. you know, it's still nice, but not as thrilling as going to the mailbox, um, is tracking my uh, bookings, future business, and tracking my pipeline. So as you mentioned, always selling. It's not just what you're doing today in business, right. it's what's gonna come three months, six mm -hmm. months, 12 months, two years, constantly having a healthy pipeline. That's knowing your numbers.